After the success of the return of offline Melee in 2021, competitors across the world were eager for their chance to compete on the national stage once again in 2022 at Genesis 8. But with the event's sudden postponement back in January, Melee has gone nearly four whole months without a major. However, this hasn't stopped the Melee scene from absolutely thriving on both the local and regional level in the United States and beyond, with some tournaments attracting triple-digit entrant numbers as well as a bevy of top-level talent. From Oakland, California to Tokyo, Japan, here's a recap of some of the biggest and most stacked Melee tournaments of the year so far. In the absence of a proper in-person national, large-scale regional tournaments have become the ideal destination for out-of-state competition during the first half of 2022. With Arizona's premier tournament series, Smash Camp 2022, coming in as the biggest Melee tournament of the year so far with 265 entrants, nearly surpassing the entrant numbers of his predecessor, Smash Camp End of Summer. Smash Camp 2022 attracted a cast of top-level talent from all over the country, including Kadoran, Esfat, Fiction, Spark, Zamu, Faceroll, Logan, and Free Palestine. Despite this regional diversity, however, the tournament proved to be an absolute showcase for California Melee, with six of the top eight placing players hailing from either NorCal or SoCal. Once again, Kadoran proved exactly why he is indisputably the second best Marth in the game behind only Zayn, taking his second regional of 2022 in a row after winning the Town Throwdown Episode 1 just one week prior. More on that later. His tournament run at Smash Camp wasn't exactly flawless. In winter semis, Kadoran matched up with NorCal Sheik Titan Spark, a first in a tournament setting. They had, however, previously played a first to five exhibition at Tof's King of the Cube series earlier in the month, where Spark won 5-3. Spark replicated that success by defeating Kadoran again 3-1. He gets the poof. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh my god! Despite the setback, Kadoran completely swept through losers, taking out a murderous row of players like Soof, Albert, and Spark in a runback before meeting Esfat in Grand Finals. Kadoran would take both sets over the venerable Red Fox main 3-1 and 3-2 respectively. Battle Gateway is considered one of the oldest and most venerable Melee tournament series in Japan. It just hosted its 32nd iteration this past February and featured seven members of the Japan SSBM Rank 2019. Despite being the smallest iteration in the series with 22 entrants, Battle Gateway number 32 proved to be one of the sleeper hit tournaments of February. As two of the best Fox players in Japan, Sane and Falpen, ranked second and fifth on the Japan SSBM Rank 2019 respectively, met in both winners finals and grand finals, playing a total of 15 games together, culminating with Sane taking the tournament. Before Battle Gateway number 32, the last time Sane and Falpen faced off was all the way back in July of 2021 in what would be their only set together in tournament that year at Smash Kumite DX number 1, where Falpen managed to take his first ever set against Sane. Prior to the pandemic, Sane held an outstanding record versus his fellow countrymen, having compiled an undefeated set record of 14-0 against him. In 2022, Minnesota has seemingly become the epicenter of Midwest Melee with its successful monthly tournament series, the aptly named Minnesota Melee Monthly. Spearheaded by local TO and yo-yo extraordinaire Joey Donuts and Team Oxy founder Dendi Pretendi, Minnesota Melee Monthlies have attracted some of the best players from all corners of the Midwest, including Ben, Ginger, Slow King, Mech, Shifty, and Sigma. In addition to top Midwest talent, the Minnesota Melee Monthlies have seen players from all across the United States make the trip out to Minnesota, including Crudo and Wally. So far this year, there have been two iterations of the Minnesota Melee Monthly, with the most recent one taking place on March 19th, reaching a total of 84 entrants. Going into the tournament, Ben was the clear favorite. He won the first Minnesota Melee Monthly without dropping a set while taking sets over fellow PGR contenders Zamu and Ginger twice, the first time he had ever beaten Ginger in person. Oh, he's still on! He's still on! Wait, is it over? It's over! He did it! Ben wins! At Minnesota Melee Monthly number two, Ben easily steamrolled his way through the early portions of Bracket, bringing down Squizzage, Nakama Man, and Mr. Snus along the way before taking on Iowa's best player, Slow King, in winner's finals. Both players had faced each other the previous night at a local tournament where Slow King sent Ben to losers in winner's finals before Ben rallied in losers to take both sets of grands against him. Their winner's final set at Minnesota Melee Monthly 2 played out eerily similar, as Slow King managed to upset Ben again, putting himself in winner's side of grand finals. Determined to defend his region from his Iowan foe, Ben defeated a visiting Wally 3-2 after clutching out a bonkers three-stock comeback in Game 5, and took out Slow King in both sets of grand finals, a rerun of their grand final sets from the night before. 
British Melee held its first major of 2022 with Myth 2, a 90 entrant tournament featuring top British talent and a couple of Swedish MPGR contenders in ABBA and Meaty. As it has been for nearly a decade though, the king of British Melee remains Professor Pro, who recovered from a loss from Frenzy in the first set of Grand Finals to reset him 3-1 and take the tournament. Frenzy and Professor Pro were the highest ranked British players on the MPGR contenders list for Europe, both checking in at S tier. Professor Pro may have won the first skirmish between the two in 2022, but keep an eye on this battle as the year goes on. Since 2021, Frenzy owns a 7-6 lead in the offline set count over Professor Pro, and many of their sets are liable to go down to the wire. Youngwaf is one of the most respected tournament organizers in Melee and remained a driving force in the competitive scene during the pandemic. He returned to hosting offline events this year in Oakland by hosting the Town Throwdown Episode 1, The SoCal Invasion, which drew over 100 entrants, including prominent players such as Kadoran, Faceroll, Spark, Lucky, Magi, and Eddie Mexico. In 2021, Kadoran was crowned the best player in SoCal. He proved the crown does not weigh heavily upon him, as he was able to win his first regional since without dropping a single set. Over the course of his winner's bracket journey, Kadoran plowed through the likes of YCZ6, Azul, Lucky, and Magi twice, with his set against Lucky being the only one to go to Game 5. The day may have belonged to Kadoran, but he wasn't the only player making big moves in Oakland. After being shined out of winners in his top 24 qualifier match by the always deadly Ralph, Spark went on quite the loser's run, embarking on a four-set win streak which included a win over fellow California Sheik main, Face Roll. Under Ryobeat and Dark Genex, one local in New York City has risen to unite all of Tri-State in glorious smashing competition, and that is the Nightclub. Ever since July of last year, the Nightclub has become the must-enter tournament series for all of Tri-State, garnering some of the region's best like Slox, Captain Smuckers, The Swooper, Aklo, Toussaint, and IBDW. The Nightclub has also become the most attended tournament series in the US in 2022, with entering counts reaching as high as 76 players. If it wasn't enough that the nightclub was already the most attended local tournament in the United States, Ryobeat and his crew managed to completely outdo themselves by taking the nightclub to even bigger heights with its new regional, the Nightclub VIP. And for their first ever event this past Sunday, the guest of honor was none other than Panda's own IBDW. Oh, suck my nuts! Alongside the consensus number 22 player of all time, other notable entrants included some of Tri-State's best, like Aklo, Two Saint, The Swooper, JFlex, Bbats, as well as top out-of-state talent like Slug, Polish, and Skurzo. Coming off his career-defining win at Smash Summit 12, where he brought down five of the top 10 players in the world, including Leffen, Mango, and Zane, IBDW was expected to easily cruise his way through winners. Through top eight, it looked like he was well on his way to doing so, having only dropped one game in his past four sets. In winner semis, though, IBDW faced off with 2019 MPGR 99th ranked The Swooper. Unfazed by taking on arguably one of the top three players of the world and his winless set record against him, the Swooper managed to pull off one of the most shocking upsets of the year by sending IBDW to the loser's bracket. IBDW would win the runback as part of his rampage through losers, but the winner of Nightclub VIP would not be the VIP. Instead, it was Aklo who claimed the crown after dropping just two games all day long, one to Polish in winner semifinals and one to IBDW in grands. That was such a risky nair. Tech chase. Oh, oh no! What is what is happening? He's dead. It's dead. Is he dead? He's dead. Aklo. Aklo wins. Wins. Aklo wins nightclub VIP. This month brings the return of major offline melee in 2022, beginning with Genesis and proceeding with Pound and Low Tide City. While most of the game's top talent has been grinding at home, the offline scene is thriving. For players like Aklo, Kadoran, and Ben, Genesis 8 will be their biggest test of the year so far their first chance to prove their regional play can translate to the major stage. To keep up with all our coverage as the season gets rolling, make sure to subscribe to PG Stats.